I spent more than three months on this film project, which I don't get paid for. I can't share any of it on my social media and it doesn't give me any form of benefit in some way. But still, I think it was fun and probably worth it too. And in other words, as I like to call it, it was top secret. However, this said, I have to admit that the spectrum of this project was a lot bigger than what I thought in the beginning. But since I told them that, hey, I want to do this, and hey, I am going to do this, and since I'm a person who keeps my word, I finished it off, and actually did so before the time I was expecting to be finished. Which is most of the time a good thing, right? But this project had some downsides, which I'm going to explain to you in a minute. If you don't know who I am, my name is Adrian and I am my last year of junior high and I've been doing photography and film for the last couple of years as my biggest hobby. I'm not a professional, but I'm not at the beginner stage anymore either I will say. Uh, at this time people have started reaching out to me uh, and I say yes to everything whether it's paid or not. However, I have started to get some paying clients as well, which is great and it definitely gives me the opportunity to start growing even more as a filmmaker and photographer. So what about this project? Well, it's not top secret, but I probably will get in trouble if I start posting it or clips of it on my social media. Uh, I was 100% aware of this when I started working on it, but still I wanted to do this and now I made a one hour long documentary or the road to film after a few weeks we spent uh, last fall preparing our school review and I actually made two films of this where the first one I just finished after Christmas uh, It's a two hour long film of just the school review display uh, You can actually see a trailer of it on my youtube channel I can link it down in the description that you can see it uh, or you can find a card of it on the top of the screen and then there is this one which is more like a uh, the road to or a documentary with a lot of behind the scenes stuff of the whole thing. Now we wonder, well since you can share a trailer of the display, why can't you share anything from what happened while preparing it? And that's a good question, but the reason is that everyone has access to film and do whatever they want with a recording or a photo uh, of the display because it happens live. But what happens at school, where minors, including myself, are shown, the school needs permission from all legal guardians for their kid at school to be shown somewhere on social media to not break any laws, right? Uh, so briefly summarized, this means that the film I made will only be shown at school and no other places, except for like I can show it to my family if I want to, but I don't think they really care about it. Uh, just kidding, they do. But yeah. I spent 9 school days filming the others practicing and preparing for the review and I spent more than 3 months editing it. This is time I could have spent on a lot of other things, right? Uh, it's not like I was editing for 5-10 to 10 hours every day, but in total it became more hours than I've ever spent on any project before. Maybe the time I would spend making, let's say, 5 or 6 of these videos. Uh, on this channel and lately I have been spending a lot more time on each YouTube video than ever before. And my goal for 2023 is actually to start posting quite regularly if I'm able to and therefore I felt I had to get this project done since it took so much time and so I now can be able to make YouTube videos and work on other client projects as well. On to the main point of this video. This school review film project were me asking if I could do it. Nobody asked me to do anything. And I don't know if the road to film, uh, which I spent more than 3 months on editing has the most to say in what I am about to tell you, but the other one and all the time I spent filming and showing my skills since 8th grade in school, uh, along with my enthusiasm and uh, what I've shown I can do and that I am passionate about, at least as a hobby, is what has given me my latest client projects where people have reached out to me and not the other way, both paid and non-paid. So from my perspective as a 15 year old growing filmmaker and photographer, I see that if you always say yes and you don't underestimate yourself, 
I think you can be able to get more projects. And if it isn't paid, so what? As long as it is a hobby and the most important thing that is you have fun and if you also deliver a good product, even when it's not paid, your good reputation will spread and suddenly people will start reaching out to you. Of course, what I've seen is that it's probably not directly worth it to spend 40 to 70 hours making something you can't show to that many and that you don't get paid for, but I just photographed our school ball at the same time as I had a blast. I spent three to four hours editing the photos and people were super satisfied. And I also believe that if I hadn't done all this school rev stuff, I would not have been asked to do this. Then, what about my further plan? Because the thing right now is that time goes really fast. In just three months, I'm done with 10 years of primary school and if I get in on my first choice for high school or what we in Norway call Vega S, I will actually do something where the focus is not media, like the same as now, but I will for sure still be doing uh, photography and filmmaking besides school as I have been doing the last years. Uh, now, will I do as much free work for the school if it's a possibility? Um, well, probably not since I will be a lot busier, but of of course, if they pay me, I guess we can work. Oh, there's my phone. I guess we can work something out. Now, I will say that I have a really good foundation for starting to bigger projects and more serious projects. And a lot more people for sure know about what I do and will hopefully say that I'm quite good at it for being a 15 year old. Now, I don't know, but yeah, that's it. I hope you got something useful out of this video and uh, I hope you have a good one. So, yeah.